Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching. Today I'm going to be making a dish that I was inspired to make from a restaurant. When I went out to eat at Porta, actually in Asbury, I had this dish called Bootsin and it was delicious. I went there with like my entire family, well my father's side anyway, and when I had gotten home, I was like, I really need to make that dish. Like, I really need to make it. I can make it. I know I could skill it. So, so I basically just put a whole bunch of ingredients together that I thought would make the taste. And I killed it. It was so good. So, I'm going to share that with you. Hopefully, you like spicy. Because this is definitely going to be that. <laughs> now... What you are going to need is medium shells, one onion, fresh garlic. I'm going to use ah, four cloves. Uh, one, two, three, four, four. You can't really see them. That's aggravating. I'm going to use organic crushed tomatoes doesn't need to be organic it's whatever you want it's just what i use because i'm crazy um jalapeno peppers now for my mommies out there that have little ones i'll show you when we're making it you if, if you put it in at the end anyway so you'll just take out the babies beforehand and i use well, actually, I went to the store today and they didn't have, they don't, I can't find organic hot sausage. So if anybody knows anything out there about organic hot sausage, like, let me know. Comment, message, anything. Because I can only find sweet. And I like sweet and hot. So this is what I'm stuck with. Premio sweet and hot Italian sausage. And that's what we're going to make today. So that's really all you need. It's literally, probably will cost you... What? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then if you have to buy the whole jar, fifteen dollars for dinner. Fifteen dollars. Boom. You can't beat that. Okay, well, yeah, actually you can't McDonald's, but I don't eat McDonald's, so and then of course your sauces. I mean your spices. And first thing we're gonna, we're gonna do, do is there. actually first, we're gonna turn our Italian sausages into chopped meat. Yeah, it sounds weird, doesn't it? But it's not. So, we're going to get right to that. Well, before we do that, we're going to cut up our onions and our garlic. Now, I personally got sick of crying every time I cut onions, okay? Sick of it. Can't stand it. I'll literally be in the middle of cutting onions and <laughs> Oh, oh, I have to go wash my face because it's like, oh, okay. So you get ready in the morning and you're ready for your day. And then you cut onions and your face is all over the place. Ooh, I don't know about you, but I wear mascara. And when I cry, it just decides to just drip all down my face when I cut onions. And now they always say, you can either breathe through your mouth when you're cutting onions, breathe through your mouth, or wash the onion before you use it now i've done both good luck if you try and breathe through your mouth the whole time good luck wish it to you and i feel like when i wash the onion i feel like it actually takes some maybe it might like it's not tested it's not like i've done it and i've tasted it and it tasted like that i just feel like it takes away from the flavor of the onion personally so i mean either one you could do but i got this nifty little gadget and it cuts for me and it keeps it contained thank you bed bath and beyond so i am going to do that we're going to cut that up you're just gonna cut it dice it dice it into little dice as if you're gonna make your sauce because that's what we're doing we're gonna make sauce from scratch it's not gonna be an all-day type of sauce we'll do that another time if you're interested let me know comment and it's going to take us probably about an hour, maybe, maybe 40 minutes to get it all together and cut up. Well, not that. I mean, you'll see. All right. Thank you for watching. Let's cut up our onions and garlic. 
Okay, now like I said, my life is 10 times easier than yours because I just have to like skin the garlic and then I just throw it in there and crush it up. But I'll show you what I do. Just in case you have something like that, you'll see all together. So I'd actually sliced my finger. That was from earlier, and the garlic is really making it burn. Oh, it sucks. No tears. Bye-bye. Now it's actually when the onions go in the pot. Ah, it's still, it's coming for me. And then I'll actually turn it on, medium, just to get the shit away from me. Oh, oh you see the tears, they're coming. They're coming. Are we crying together? so rough. Oh my god. <gasps> the struggle. Okay, so as I'm doing this because of the onions, I actually just put it in my sauteing pan, the biggest sauteing pan that you have, because we're also going to cook everything else in there. So, Put it on medium, put olive oil in there, a good amount of olive oil, like I use way too much olive oil. So that's just me because I don't want anything to burn. Like with my sausage, like all that happy stuff. And um, get it out. Oh, I hate that. I hate that with the onion where there's that only that one slice is just like, fuck you, Jen. Excuse my language. Okay, so now that we have our onions and garlic sauteing, now we're gonna get our sausage, okay? And we're gonna open it up. And I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. Now I'm actually just gonna take my pizza cutters because it makes my life easier. But what we're gonna do, okay, so you got your sausage, okay? So this is what you're gonna do. I'm over the frying pan and you're gonna squeeze out the guts into the frying pan. See? Squeeze out the guts. Now I'm going to get you a better view since you've seen what I've done. we're going to do is cut it up as you can see that's what we're gonna do we're gonna just cut it up into a whole bunch of little pieces as small as you can and we're gonna cook it so as you see it's like because we're gonna make it into such small pieces it's not even gonna take long for the sausage to cook 
bear with me and we got a bunch to do. gets nice and cooked and you're just going to toss it around. You're just going to keep flipping through it, flipping the pieces over until they're all nice and cooked.
take our canned tomato sauce, this bad boy, and we're going to open it. Now, my can opener broke for the second time, second can opener, like $10, but it fucking broke. So, my head away. I shall show you my ghetto tricks of the trade. And you know what it entails? Stabbing fucking time. Whatever works, right? Does not sound pleasant. Tell me, just put the ball in his eye. I would be so mad. Given my particular circumstances with my little slice and dice open the uh, can, I um I added some water into the can to make sure that I could get it open. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna mix it, mix it together so it's nice and in there, and then we're going to add our seasoning. Garlic, Italian, Oh, this is actually on one of my old videos. Now, um, for your seasonings, because I use organic sauce, so it has absolutely nothing in it except the sauce, the raw sauce. I'm going to use my Italian seasoning. I'll show you. Garlic powder. Some salt. Ah, not too much salt. Light on the salt. Pepper. Oregano. 
now. And mix your goodies together. Mix and mix and mix. Okay, so once you mix that all together, you're just going to put your lid on it. Me, I use um, aluminum foil, and you just let it simmer on medium. <coughs> Excuse me. So get your boiling water going, toss your shells in, and then I'm not sure how you like your shells. Are they like mushy or al dente? We like ours on the little al dente side. So when you're done, you strain your shells. For my mommies out there, you're going to make your little ones dish first because you don't want any jalapeno in there. So you need, to, you need time for it to cool down anyway, so it works better, out, better that way. So you're going to make your little ones dish. And really all you need to do is after about 15, 25 minutes, like I said, you're just going to put their dish to the side. And then you're going to add in the jalapenos, however much you desire. It's your choice on how hot you want it. And that's really it from there. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this tastes as good to you as it does to me and my family. And let me know how it goes. Just comment below like the video okay thank you and subscribe i'm going to be posting a video a week this might actually just be extra for this week because i really like this dish and i thought maybe you guys would like it too so just let me know how it goes and enjoy dinner everybody thank you for your time and thank you for watching and trusting me with your stomach